This is what it's like to stay at Legoland Japan Resort. So today we are bringing grandpa and grandma. We just spent Oshogatsu, the New Year's with them, and they're joining us on this trip. So it's kind of like us staying at the hotel as well as going into the amusement park. Let's go. So the Legoland Japan Resort is located in Nagoya Aichi Prefecture, about a 25 minute train ride from Nagoya Station. And the Legoland Hotel sits conveniently right in front of the theme park. And to make things just a bit easier on us, we decided to check in before going into the park. So what happened, Michael? The check-in is from 4, so we need to come back and get the card of the party. So apparently they have a playground inside of the hotel. So even after we come back and maybe like eat and like gotta kill time, we can just go there. So if you're a Legoland fan, this is the hotel reception you've been looking for. Aside from the all Lego theme, there's a pool of Lego blocks in the main lobby area. Perfect for kids to play and engage while the parents check in at the counter. I'll be honest, Wolfie loved this area so much that he didn't even want to leave to go to the park. You know what these are called? Lego. And here we go, Legoland. First tip is to buy tickets online on their website in advance as you'll be able to save quite a bit. Obviously the price will vary during peak times and the off season, but in our case, we saved 1200 yen per adult. Look, look, it's a dragon. So this being our first time, we were completely blown away with how high quality the LEGO models were. They used more than 17 million LEGO pieces building more than 10,000 LEGO models throughout the park. And despite a two and a half year old son never really playing with LEGOs until just now, he thoroughly enjoyed seeing all the colorful life-size characters. So we've just entered the park and I think we're gonna go get some food right now before we hit all of the other amusements. Okay, so we've decided to go to the chicken dinner place. Let's see how it is. And this is the kid set for Wolfie. So as expected, all of the food items were very Lego themed and seasoned for younger palates. So Wolfie enjoyed the food just fine. But for adults... Michael, how is it? Good. <laughs> you like it's good, Wolfie? Yeah. What do you like the best? Do you like the chicken nuggets? Pitch fried. How about you, Michael? What do you like? It's cute. It's cute. It's baby. <laughs> of course, ordered her favorite churros. Oh, really? It has a cinnamon sauce. And obviously, I got the fried chicken. I should also mention that the park technically prohibits outside food and drinks, except for baby food and small drinks that can fit in a bag. Luckily, there are five sit-down restaurants and several food stands spread throughout the park, so finding a place to get your grub on won't really be an issue. What do you want to ride? You want to ride the merry-go-round? So as mentioned earlier, Wolfie is two and a half and a little over 90 centimeters tall, which surprisingly meets the requirements for many of the rides here, starting with the merry-go-round and the imagination celebration in the Bricktopia area. Also Splash Battle, a boat ride in the Pirate Shores area. Surprisingly, it's not so crowded here. There's like pretty much no lines at all. You don't know, eh? Well, we got in line, but Wolfie wasn't feeling it anymore for some reason, so he had to jump ship. I'm sure other parents can relate to this one. My little dude even got to go on his first ride by himself on Beetle Bounce in Adventure Area. Well, truth is, the park staff wouldn't let me go on the ride with him. Luckily, Wolfie was all good to go solo. Definitely though, his favorite ride was the Cargo Ace, also in the Adventure Area. He loved it so much that we went back several times. Did you have fun? Fortunately, the park didn't really have any lines for this one, so we could just get right back on. Compared to USJ and Disney in Japan, it felt like there are a lot more rides for two-year-olds, so maybe worth considering if you have younger ones. That was fun. So, hair raising. Oh, and he got to watch a 3D movie show too. Quick tip, don't drop your 3D glasses on the ground before the show starts. I spent a good part of the movie feeling around the floor for mine. Another pleasant surprise for the park is that there are quite a bit of playgrounds scattered throughout for kids to run around and play. No need to wait in line so you can just let your kids enjoy. Be careful though, it was hard getting our own son to move on to the next area. Go down, go down. There's also several shops scattered throughout and it may be fun to let your little one choose an accessory to help them feel like they're part of the park. He's sleeping, Wolfie. 
So Wolf got a little bit tired all the way down here towards the end of this, like where the city is. So I had to go and get a stroller for him and now we got a stroller. But yeah, I recommend getting a stroller in the beginning if you don't want to carry your kid around the entire time. So I think we're in the Egyptian area right now. Actually pretty cool. Okay, bye bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. So Michael's parents have to drive back home, so we have to say goodbye for now. But if you want to see how we spent a few days just before this, check out our New Year's video with my in-laws. Like Look at his face! <laughs> how you feeling, Michael? I'm freezing! He was <laughs> okay earlier because I was out. Oh, cool. I want to go into the, the, one of the indoor. Are you cold? Yeah. Is that your cold face? So Legoland has three workshops to build Legos all inside of the park and this one, Rebuild the World, is the only one that takes walk-ins. Again, perfect for all ages. Kids can get super focused on their creation while parents can take a short break. Or if like me, also get super focused. So this place is quite interesting because you have about 30 minutes to build whatever you want and Wolfie is just having fun picking out the pieces and it looks like he's just picking out just like some odd pieces like windshields, things that are transparent, that are just like with Lego blocks to build something but he just really enjoyed it, he's just been doing that this entire time. I thought you have five minutes, she said. Oh, yeah, five minutes. We've been working so hard, huh? Okay, my castle. <laughs> what do you think of my dinosaur? Maybe we gotta go, okay? Yeah, she did it. And look at him clean up. I wonder where he gets that from. Daddy made that. Do you like it? No, no, she I guess it's getting a little bit dark. We actually didn't hit up the entire park. There is just like so much to do. We don't have time. Um, we're gonna go ahead back to the hotel and show you the room that we're staying at. <laughs> But on our way back to the hotel, we decided to stop by Miniland, which was unexpectedly amazing. Made with Lego blocks, it nailed many of Japan's famous landmarks. I found Asakusa, Shibuya, Itsukushima, Tokyo Station, and a bit more. There's even other countries which we didn't have time to fully see. One impression I got though is that many of the attractions are more designed for summer or warm weather. Maybe that explains why we didn't see so many lines today. Worth noting I guess. They have Squid Surfer and this playground that becomes a small water play area in the summer. Also Splash Battle we almost rode earlier. Oh and this one where you can race the boat you just made. So the park closed at 5 p.m. today, which is a bit earlier than we expected, but I guess it allows us more time to enjoy the Legoland Hotel. If you're not staying here though, come early to maximize your time. That's your bed, where do you want to sleep, Wolfie? You want to get on pirate? No. So this is a pretty fun room. I didn't expect it to be this piratey, but outdone themselves and you really feel like you are in a pirate's room. Kids would love it. Wolfie really likes it. He loves the bunk beds, even though I think it might be still a little bit too high for him. I think if you had two kids, they'd really, really appreciate it. And the bed is wide enough itself so you can have, you know, three people, like two adults and a kid in the middle. I don't know what the, the room arrangements are, but you can probably fit like five people in this room alone. What's that? Pirate man. You're a pirate man? You're a pirate. I kind of like the details here as well. You have pillows, you have just like this rope hanging from the curtain area. The shelf even has like ropes hanging down the shelf. Even like the carpet is kind of a, like a treasure map. Pretty cool. Oh, and this is Wolfie's first bunk bed experience. He wants me to stay. Or no? Before I continue on, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you all don't already know, Squarespace is the number one way to build your online presence. In fact, I use Squarespace for my website, Tokyo Zebra. 
Here's just some of the reasons why I love using Squarespace so much. Whether you're starting your passion project or building a business, Squarespace has all the tools to get it done while also looking ultra sleek and professional at the same time. They support numerous portfolios and gallery designs which you can customize and even password protect so the right people see your work. Use its fully integrated blogging tools and commenting features such as threaded comments, replies, and likes to help engage your community. And my personal favorite, built-in analytics to see how your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time. So there you go. go to squarespace.com today for your free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com forward slash paolo from tokyo and get 10% off your first domain or website wow. it's pretty cool that they provided legos right here but i think it's also pretty keen that they provided like the bigger size legos on the little tiny ones just in case you have the really really young kids with you what did you say? No, like they have a restaurant inside. Yeah. It's a lot more expensive than rooms. Rooms are super cheap. What are you building? Ship. The highlight of Legoland Hotel is definitely the pirate themed playground on the second floor. Again, they have this Lego pool for kids to enjoy. And just beyond it, there's a fun jungle gym. Okay. Is this your ship? You made a ship right now. Good job, dude. So for parents wanting to take a break from the hotel room, this area could provide a few hours of fun, especially for the younger ones. Whoa, you did it! So Wolfie's not really into playing on nets yet, as he often gets stuck, but this one he was able to manage. I suppose it's designed for smaller kids like him. And parents tip, there's a skyline bar right next to the playground if you're trying to get your drink on. Just check their calendar as it's often closed midweek during non-peak seasons. Another tip for those that decide to eat outside of the hotel, although there are quite a few restaurants, they often close extremely early, like an hour after park closure, in our case 6pm, just before dinner. So our hotel stay included a complimentary breakfast buffet, but I should note that you're required to book online the time of your breakfast. A small little tip, if you arrive exactly at the time of your booking, like everyone else, the lines are quite packed. But if you happen to arrive 10 to 15 minutes late, I noticed there were almost no lines. Oh, and the hotel has a kids buffet area as well. So here we are at breakfast and the selection is not that bad, it's pretty good for kids. There is kind of a wide variety of meat selection, foreign, western, as well as you know just Japanese at breakfast. Also there's like some fruit and stuff that Wolfie can eat, so yeah, it's a fairly balanced breakfast. Plus the atmosphere itself is pretty cool. What do you think of the food, Wolfie? What is this? One last tip for those looking to buy souvenirs. The park obviously has more shopping options, but if you're pressed for time and want to maximize your play at the park, or you simply forget to get a souvenir before the park closes, the hotel has its own souvenir shop, which remains open after park close. This is what we did. Okay, so that's our trip here at Legoland Japan Resort. If you guys like this video, definitely help us out and hit that like button if you want to support the channel. Then check out the Tokyo merch. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything about our family, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and we'll catch you guys in the next one.